All right, today we're going to be talking about a new piece of equipment that was introduced in our lab during our last session. What we have here is an ohm meter, which actually can be used as a, it's a voltmeter as well. Where we used it last time in the lab as an ohm meter is we're trying to tell if something is, has continuity. That means when we turn it on, is our circuit going to work? Is everything connected or do we have a short or a break in the line? Also, when we were checking, last time we were installing switches, I used them, I used the ohm meter to tell if the circuit was, um, was working. And you can tell on this, I've got, I've got the switch in the off position. And this is our single pole, single throw switch. And if I come in here and I put the probes on, you can see the switch is off. The, the ohm meter is not moved. So that means I have a, a break in the circuit or the switch is off. Turn the switch to the ohm position. Now you can see the, the ohm meter pegs out. That means I have 100% continuity. Everything is connected. The switch is on. That's an easy way to check that. <clears throat> now if we go to a three-way switch, okay, that side's off. If I connect this probe and that, now you can see it, that side's on. Flip it around, then that side's on, and that side's off. So an ohm meter is a very handy device especially whenever we're installing something and we don't have power to the um, to the building yet. Plus, we don't want to the first time that we power up something to be wondering if it's installed correctly or we have a short or a broken connection. This is a great way to troubleshoot um, appliances, stuff like that. Um, it's just a really handy tool. If I switch the meter to voltage and it goes from 10, 50, 250, or 1000 volts, well we know that um, a standard circuit we are on 120 volt. So if I put it on the 250 max rating and I insert the probes, you can see that the that I'm reading right at 120 volts. So we know that the system's working, everything's installed correctly. This is a great way to check to, um, to see if you've got the correct voltage and make sure that, um, that everything's installed properly. We'll be using these ohm meters and voltmeters more in the lab as we get into more complex circuits. <laughs> 